Hi, if you are watching this video, you are probably curious as to how to organize your digital files. It's time for you to declutter and fix up your digital space. Because I stress a lot about organizing your physical space, but there is just as much of an importance of decluttering your digital space because that is something that you are often using. People take that for granted, maybe because like everything is just all up in the air, you don't actually see it. But just because you don't see it doesn't mean that it's not clogging up an entire space. Anyways, let's go straight to it. So how do I go about organizing my digital space? To give you an understanding, the first video I did, I talked about organizing photos and videos into a hard drive, but anything that has to do with documents or sharing files with other individuals, I store everything onto Google Drive. So what is Google Drive? It's a storage and synchronization system that Google has created. It's a great way for you to kind of share files with other individuals that are not in the same area as you. But in order to organize, these are the things that you will be needing. Of course, a computer. And one tip that I have before, I'm just going to mirror off a little bit. I usually never save anything onto my computer because I want to reserve that RAM space to work on designs. It has saved me a lot of time and my computer still runs pretty fast because I don't save a lot of things onto it. The next thing that you need is a Google Drive account. And in order to get that, you would need a Gmail account. I have various Gmail accounts for different work purposes. Third thing that you need is files to organize. So today I'm going to be dragging my the files that I've illustrated for a client and I'm going to be moving that into my drive so that I can show you how I go about organizing the files that I have in my digital space. I organize everything by purpose. Google Drive offers two drive features. There is My Drive and Shared Drive. The difference between the two, to simplify it, is My Drive is for personal use and Shared Drive is for a group use, team use. And so for example, is I work at Penelope Pop and maybe I want to share stuff with my editor. So I create a shared drive for my editor and we access everything on that shared drive together. And in case she moves on and works with somebody else, then I don't need to worry about the files being lost and they're all just shared into one drive. You can also limit the access that a person might have with these shared drives depending on the administrative level that you may have. So I have a drive, my own personal drive, where I store everything that I'm not going to share with everybody, but I can still share certain files if I want to. And then I have a shared drive, one for Future Faces, Penelope Pop, The Everyday. These are all shared with various people and they can work on it together and not worrying about losing access to certain files. So the first thing you need to do is you need to know how to drag your files. It's very simple. Uh, so I, again, I am going to move things onto my portfolio here in Penelope Pop. So I've been working on something with a client and basically I'm going to be moving that into my shared drive. So here, I'm going to be work moving the JPEGs and the AI files and I'm gonna move it here because I finished this project with my client. It depends on your internet speed, but depending, and also the size of the file, but you just upload the items and it directly goes into that folder. And I can't share the client that I'm working with, but yeah, this is what I do. Every time I finish a project, I always upload it into a folder. I want to share some of my basic rules in organizing my files. Number one is I keep one of each. I never have a duplicate unless unless I need to work on the document myself and I want to change up my and create my own version of it and somebody else is going to create their own version of it. But usually when I am working on a file and I want to collaborate with others, I just work on one document. And this is to avoid taking up storage space and also um, avoiding replicas that aren't really necessary. Number two, I always create folders for different things, but I never create folders if there's just one document in it. I always make sure there's more than two or three documents within the folder, so I, I don't go folder crazy and I don't create multiple folders for each thing. My third rule is that you always label your files. Make sure you always label so you know where to find it and don't rely on the search engine. The tendency is for people to just 
leave it untitled and just rely on the powerful search engine that Google Drive might offer, but you actually save a lot of time if you know where things are located. So that's pretty much how I organize my files. I make sure that I keep one of each, I label appropriately, and I also create a folder if necessary. It's very simple. Just know how to navigate through your files. Here are some great features I'm going to share about Google Drive. Number one is that you can share doc, um, documents within your Google and personal drive. So for example, the most recent thing that I uploaded, I can share it. So if I wanted to share a JPEG image with somebody, I could just um, share it. And then I can add a name or address, whether it be a Gmail or account or not, you can share it with them and you can send it. If you use Google Docs, Google Slides, or Google, uh, any of the Google apps and you are working on it, you can share that document with someone and they can also work on it with you. Another great feature is the saving feature. For example, here's an agenda that we have for our meetings and um, it is constantly saving. So if I add anything new, you can see on the, over here, it keeps saving for you. And that's the great thing about technology is that it learns from its past mistakes. But usually with Google Docs, it won't let you work on the file if you don't have internet, unless you create, uh, disable the feature and allow yourself to work offline. And the third feature that is great is that you don't need to upload documents the way you usually do with emails. You can just extract files from your Google Drive to avoid duplicate files and also to avoid from waiting, like avoid waiting for files to upload. So over here, let's say I am going to send an email to maybe like a client and I'm saying, oh, here, I'm going to send it to a client. I'm just making this per This is my editor's email and I'm just gonna say client. And basically here, there's a Google Drive icon and you can insert files. You can go to your most recent ones and you can find, you can upload the most recent files that you have. And usually when you upload things, it takes a long time because you know, it's busy transferring it on to the email, but this one uploads directly because it's already saved onto your drive. And that's the great thing about Google Drive is that there's only one file of each and you save, you share that one file with other people without having to create a duplicate version of it. And you can just immediately send it without having to wait for the attachment to upload. That is it. I hope this helped you understand my process in organizing my digital files. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will try my best to answer it. I shall see you next time. Let me know what you would like to see. Bye-bye.